Panthers quarterback Cam Newton struggled last season one year after winning the league MVP, and the sports media can't seem to figure out why. And there's an endless list of explanations. It was a Super Bowl hangover. Cam is lazy. He scrambles too much. He suddenly forgot how to throw in the pocket, which is my favorite, by the way, because it's just another example of the sports media completely ignoring the wall of 350 pound men that stand in front of the quarterback. Offensive lines matter. What did the final four teams last season, the Patriots, Steelers, Packers, and Falcons, what did they all have in common? It's not just they had great quarterbacks, they also had great offensive lines. So it's no surprise that a quarterback who likes to throw off his back foot downfield needs a lot of time in the pocket. And that's okay. If there's anyone who can bail himself out of pressure, it's Cam Newton. But that doesn't mean it's sustainable. And just look at the correlation between Newton's raw QBR and Pro Football Focus's offensive line rankings since Cam's second year in the league. When the Panthers O-line is in the top 10, Cam is in the top 10. When they're not, Cam isn't as good. And I know it sounds cliche, but you're supposed to build a football team from the inside out. Running backs and wide receivers are luxury items that are only effective if you have a good O-line. Hell, I wouldn't call quarterbacks luxury items, but you put Tom Brady behind Seattle's offensive line, his career is over before week four. That's why I find it amazing everyone shits on Russell Wilson, Eli Manning, or Andrew Luck for having a bad game when they have three tenths of a second to throw the football. It's the same with Cam Newton. Now, there is some hope for Carolina heading into this season. The Panthers are fairly strong at center and guard with Trey Turner, Ryan Khalil, and uh, uh, Andrew Norwell, but their issue has been on the outside at the tackle position, which presents a problem with a QB who likes to scramble like Newton. That's why the Panthers shelled out $55 million over five years for Ryan Khalil's brother, Matt Khalil, who made Sam Bradford look like Peyton Manning last season before he hit, hurt his hip in late September, and Minnesota's O-line all went to hell. Assuming he stays healthy, the Panthers should do a much better job protecting the quarterback. That's why I'm predicting a bounce back year for Cam Newton. But unlike the media's narrative, I think it has less to do with Cam and more to do with his offensive line.